Welcome to another edition of Question and Answer with a Criminal Defense Attorney. I am Mark Solomon. I work in Aurora, Colorado, and today we're answering a question about burglary. So the question today, why was I charged with burglary? I wasn't stealing anything. I get this question a lot. Now, interestingly, burglary is one of these crimes that you have to look at the statute to really understand what the heck is going on. Basically, this is the statute, and I try to break it down a little bit easier. Um, first degree burglary, it's the same as any other kind of burglary. The only difference is what what's the n name of the structure you were trying to break into. Was it residential, different structure, a, a, like a cubby or a locker? All those could be burglary. However, the essential elements are that you knowingly or unlawfully enter or remain with the intent to commit a crime. Okay, so here, let me, let me pull this out of the statute so you can see it. You enter or remain in a structure with the intent to commit a crime other than trespassing. So in other words, um, so in other words, if you open a door to a, to an apartment and go in with the purposes of taking something, assaulting somebody, destroying something, interfering, obstructing, you, you, you can be charged with burglary for going into a place where you're not supposed to be. And, um, they have to prove that you had the intent to commit the crime when you entered it. Um, those are the elements. If it's a residence, that is a class three felony. Um, if it's not a residence, if it's a business, it's a class four felony. Um, and it goes down the less serious the charge. So in other words, um, I've done cases where somebody has broken into a house or apartment with the intent to assault somebody. Technically that's a burglary and it has nothing to do with stealing. On the other hand, if you're charged with just breaking into a structure, just to get in, that's trespassing and not a burglary. It's one of the things that we look for in every single one of the cases where somebody is charged with burglary is can they prove it? So um, the only other wrinkle that I just like to throw in um, because, um, because I do get this from time to time, if there's a protection order forbidding you from going into your own house, like say it's a domestic violence protection order or a civil protection order, you're not allowed to be in the property, you can be charged with burglary for going into your own home if you're prohibited. That means you don't have a right to be there. So that said, um, thank you for joining us. And as always, you have the right to remain silent. If asked by a police officer, anything of where you were, where you, you know, who you know, what you have on you, um, you have a right to remain silent. Use it.